Yesterday we were talking about whether samurai armor would be made of iron or steel. But what about the Romans? Well, Metatron, that is a very simple answer, isn't it? I mean, the Roman Republic flourished during the Iron Age, so it's quite obvious that all the weapons and armors were made of iron. Right? Intro, please. Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking. So, what did the Romans use, iron or steel? Well, not an easy question actually, and therefore not an easy answer. So, in order to make things clear, let's first clarify what Iron Age actually means. So to place Iron Age, and just to remind us all, Iron Age follows the Bronze Age, but precedes the advent of writing. So we can say that the Iron Age is basically the end of pre-historical times. The thing is though, that during the Iron Age lots of different kinds of metals were used. It's called Iron Age just because most tools and working tools were made of iron. But what about items of war? Well, when we mention steel, we need to clarify that steel is an alloy of iron, as iron becomes steel upon surpassing a certain percentage of carbon. Now the simple answer to this question is, yes, the Romans also used steel. When we think of the gladius, for example, and most of the times gladius is made of steel, of course, the blade that is. Although we do need to keep in mind that when we say steel, as far as gladius are concerned, we are talking about various degrees of carbon content. So if gladius were mostly made of steel, then why wouldn't they use steel for their armors. And how was steel produced in the times of the Romans? Well, again, as I always remind my audience, of course, the Roman era is very, very long. We're talking kingdom, republic, empire, and we do need to realize that not all armors were uniform, not only because we have many different types of armor, lorica segmentata, lorica hamata, lorica squamata, lorica musculata, but also the type of material, the type of metal used would vary. We do need to realize that even upon finding or researching steel and even upon noticing that steel was actually harder and therefore a better metal for armor, old armors would, would, would be recycled. You would repair old armors and still use them. So even if you had a new item, not only not all legionaries would be able to afford it, but also we need to consider that legionaries were using other kinds of armor. They wouldn't just ditch it. So we shouldn't consider the entire Roman army using iron or the entire Roman army using steel. Again, components and the sort of metals would change. And we will get to the, how the Romans made steel in a moment. Because let us all remember, with war comes progress. The Romans would have been constantly seeking for stronger and tougher armors and weapons. And we do know that the Romans had expertise in metal working. So if we look at, for example, Corbridge Type A or Newstead version of Lorica Segmentata or, or to use a more probable name for it, Lorica Laminata, if we consider these two finds, these two kinds of armour that were found in Britain or in Roman Britain, then in both cases we're talking about steel. And many times when we see the sort of steel that the Romans used, we, we find plates having mild steel on the outside and iron on the inside of the plate. Two possible reasons for this, and those of you who have watched my video yesterday about samurai armor will remember this. Iron allows for, for a certain flexibility and allows to absorb the impact, whereas the steel surface allows for better protection against penetration. So this could be one possible reason. Second possible reason, economic purposes. Now, there are some schools of thought on this, but uh, considering that steel varies its degrees of carbon content very often in Roman production, that most likely the Romans weren't really calculating the percentage of carbon in the steel. But again, this is something that should not surprise us because even in medieval times, this happened. But how did they do it? How did they make steel? Well, in the ancient world, steel was generally made by a process called carburization, which is repeated heating and hammering of iron in contact with charcoal. The casing of metal will be converted to steel. 
the Romans also knew how to temper work hardened steel, although apparently the Egyptians knew this technique as early as 200 BC. Quenching was also possible, which is the process of preserving the high temperature crystal structure of steel by suddenly cooling it in water or oil. In some situations we see steel casing on wrought iron, producing a core with a cementation method. Now, of course, modern method of iron and steel production differ significantly to those used in ancient times, as far as technology is concerned, although they would not vary as far as chemistry is concerned. All right, then, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content from the Metatron. Please remember that now I upload daily, so I hope to see you again tomorrow. Before leaving, I have made a promise and I am sharing that comment.